Everybody, thank you for joining me and three other artists on our Tuesday night Choo Choo Art Train. Camille Amoy is up next, followed by Holly with The Morning Pour, and then Nate Bright Art. See their channel information below in my description. Please subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoy this premiere. Let's get painting. Hey guys, okay, so we are going to mix up our paints so that I can show you the proper consistency before we get to um, the video. If you're not interested in how I mix my paints, you're welcome to speed through this part and get right down to the canvas. So my colors today are going to be Charvin Julia Pink, Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray. We've got Porridge Posses, Snow White Iridescent Pearl for the swipe, and today the swipe is the same consistency. Bubblegum Shimmer by Porridge Posse, Knock Off Iridescent Shimmer by Porridge Posse, and Art Mines Turquoise. Okay. Those are the colors that I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna show you a quick video on how I mix them. This is very basic and easy. It is for a beginner. You are measuring the same amount of Floetrol to the same amount of paint. I'm gonna speed up for the sake of keeping this video where it needs to be, but I'm gonna speed up in those parts. So let's get started. So we turn our scale on, and the first thing I'm going to do is put my cup on. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way so I can actually see. Um, we're gonna go to ounces. Okay, we're gonna do the tar or tear to zero. Okay, it's zero. Now I am going to put two and a half ounces of Floetrol. There we go, there's one. Now I will make more if I'm going to fill my bottles, but if I'm doing a new video and I'm just picking random colors, I'll do just the amount that I need. But if it's colors that I use all the time, some of these I do, then I will make a larger 16 ounce cup and I'll just double everything. Okay, so we'll put it back on, hit the tear, and again, I will speed through this and get all the Floetrol in my cup. have two and a half ounces in each of my cups. So the colors that I'm using today, I had um, these two beautiful porridge posse paints. Let me show you the consistency. They are so luscious. It is, um, it's not fluid. It's not heavy body. This would be considered a medium body paint. A little bit thinner than a tube paint, but not by much. So I'm gonna put this on, one of my two and a half cups. I'm gonna set the tar. Okay, it's at zero. And I am gonna add one ounce of paint. There we go one ounce. 
okay? I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna do each cup, I add an ounce of paint. Now, that isn't always true if I'm using a fluid paint. And a fluid paint would be like this Golden's Fluid, Fluid Acrylic. I would probably only need to use a half of an ounce, but all of these paints are pretty medium body that I'm using, and so I am gonna go through and I'm going to put an ounce of paint in each of these. I'm gonna speed up while I put the paint in. So two and a half Floetrol, one ounce, two and a half ounces of Floetrol, one ounce of paint. Now we already can tell. I'm gonna just show you. I'm gonna put a dot here. We're gonna put a dot here. And two and a half ounces of Floetrol to any paints on my flower pop work. It works. So that's why I'm not adjusting unless it's a fluid paint. Anything else? So you can probably guess I don't use a lot of fluid paints. Okay. And when we tip it up, you can see, okay. So let's take a look at the Charvin. This is the Charbon. Perfect. Okay. That's awesome. That's the perfect consistency. Then this one was a little bit thinner too. So we can add just a tad bit of water. And I'm going to leave this here. And we're going to add a tad bit of water to the blue. It's almost as, as thin as the Charbon. I just add a couple squirts. Okay, I take the one that is the most fluid, and all of these work, so it's not going to be... And all I'm trying to do is feel it with my popsicle stick. How does it feel? How does it, does it, you can tell when you're feeling it. There's a pull on your on your popsicle stick. Still needs more. And these creative inspirations, um, some of the colors are not vibrant, but this is one of my favorite colors. If you all have not tried the Payne's Gray, you need to do so.
Let's take a look now and see. I'll turn it towards you and we'll tip even. Okay, getting better. All right, so then what I do, this is still thick, my blue. So I add water and that should do it. Okay, um, I'm gonna add a little bit to my two porridge posse their paints, they are so thick and luscious and vibrant. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And again, a little bit here. And that's all I do. I keep doing this until I get them. This is okay. This little bit is okay. These three need to be a little bit thinner. Okay, there you go. All right, so we are ready to do the pour. And then I thought about doing maybe a, a flowing vine. Um, so that's what I'm gonna try on this particular flower pop. So I hope you can see the whole canvas. I'm going to be swiping from the top. What I'll do is I'll move my camera just a little bit so you can see here and then I'll move it as I go along. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start layering the paints. I'm going to start with um, some of this Julia pink pretty color. Okay. Okay, and then let's go with some of this Art Minds. And then my Porridge Posse. I watched a really cool, um, one of Christina Walsh's live, um, and she talked about doing going back to videos, I guess she's been on YouTube for about five years, and she mentioned, um, you know, doing things like they did it way back then, the simple, the simple techniques, and she did two really cool techniques. I really enjoyed that, and kind of makes you, brings you back to basics, I guess. It was, um, it was great. And I've been so thrilled I've had so many people that have started, you know, trying my flower pops and um, it's just very, very touching um, to have people do them. And I, I thank them for the shout outs and for trying them. And please know um, if you ever need any help with the consistency, I'll be glad to, to help. Okay, so let's get this fixed. Okay. So I'm going to put some green. I put some green at the bottom. I'm moving this so that I can swipe. And we're going to put our swipe line up here at the top. So move this down. And I'm going to put my swipe up here. I like having the ability to walk around my table um, when I do this makes it easier. Okay, my torch. I don't know if I like this torch as good as the other one, but we'll see. Okay, let's um, let's go ahead and spread the paints out. <laughs>
Okay. All right, I think that's pretty. Let's torch. That looks great. Okay, so I've got it set up to swipe and um, I'm gonna put another line just so it's a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna dampen my paper towel. There we go. And I'm just going to lay the paper towel in, let it settle. Perfect. This one's a lot longer than what I'm used to. And I'm gonna hold it low. I want as much white to stay on as possible. There we go, all the way to the edge. Perfect. So I know you all can see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to torch. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. Now you can see this edge down here is very bare. I'm sure you can see right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to, right where it starts to get bare, I'm gonna fill it in. I wanna make sure that you don't, you know, you're, you've got paint at the top, obviously. And we're gonna tilt it just a little bit. So I'm gonna come back around and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to tilt it up. Just a little bit, let's run it off. Kind of rock it. There's not a lot of paint on this canvas, so I'm actually pretty happy with the way this looks. Okay, so we are going to get set up to blow the flowers, and I will see you there. Everybody, okay, I had to move my station. There just wasn't enough room for you to see the whole canvas, and I'm actually going to create um, my vine first and uh, see if that works a little bit better. And I thought I bought some new um, tools. Oh, here they are. Yes, 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 I did. All right, so yeah, I bought some new, I, I actually like the plastic a little bit better for, for creating the vine. So I thought I would go around like this. So it's gonna be tricky. I'm gonna use some of this green and I'm gonna start here. And I'm gonna go around like that. Okay and I can fill in more as I go. Okay, make sure my phone is on. All right, I like that vine. I think it's very cool. Um, the first thing too, I do like these little, um, the way this is down here. I am going to create some grass, I think. I um, was hoping more cells would come through down here. They haven't yet at the moment. Uh, I think I'm going to start here and see how the white, if I need to use black or not. Okay, and then here. Perfect. Do one here, here. Kind of don't want them to run together. Okay, I'm going to do one here. And 
let's do this one first. Perfect. There we go. Love that. And then I think coming from this angle, I need one here. Okay. And this angle here. I'm just going to go all the way around and see. Perfect. Okay, probably here. There we go. Gotta fix it. Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, so now, okay, now we're going to go back to um, here. Should do one here and do one here. Okay. Okay.
Very pretty. I absolutely love it. I think it's different. I'm just gonna make a little bit of grass here. I think this is beautiful. I love it. I'm gonna bring you down for a close up and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm bringing you down. Let's see this beautiful grass. Sorry for the glare. And we're gonna go around, see these flowers. They're just so pretty. Go all the way up the vine, all the way up to the top. And then I love this flower at the top. It's faint. Come back and show you. How beautiful is this? It just turned out amazing. Oh my goodness. I just love these flower pops. Okay. Look at this one. Petal's beautiful. I'm gonna come over this one's so different. You know, sometimes I force the flowers to be more, you know, like a uniform flower. And then other times I like this abstract type of flower it just it just looks amazing well I am going to let this dry and I appreciate any comments I want to thank everyone for subscribing please hit that like button if you like this video if you'd like to see more flower pops or you have a specific color you'd like to see please 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 leave comments below I look forward to them and I'm just so grateful for every single comment, every subscriber. You guys are great. And I hope everyone had a great week. Take care. And till next time. Hi, everybody. Don't forget to head over to Camille Amoy Art. She's up next.